Hello everyone, welcome to Anamika's Edu Space. So Anamika's Edu Space is back again with a new video for you all. That is, this is the starting of the year. Now you want to know how to read your NCRT effectively. So you score uh, for your boards, but also for your competitive exams like your medical and your engineering. Now basically, as I teach you biology for class 11 and 12, so I will be going with the biology only. So this video is totally based on to read your NCRT book for biology right so let's move ahead and if you find this video interesting then please do like this video and share this video with your friends now a question often comes to us that why should we study ncrt only right so let's make it specific so only ncrt why because ncrt is written in the simple language now this simple language is very easy understandable for the student as only summary and a gist of a whole topic is present where you can find a reference book of pages 1400 pages where it ncrt will only be comprised of the 343 to 400 pages right so Oh, uh, so you can find here 1000 less pages you have to study if you study your ncrt that means the topic is confined and it is present in an easy understandable way in a very gist way where you will be able to get a direct approach for the topic right and next is a strong concept so ncrt always builds a strong concept it always clears our doubt and hence if it is not able to clear your uh, your doubts or furnish your doubt it will be able to give you proper practice because ncrt based questions only will be asked in your board examination and also on your competitive examination the mtg question bank or mtg fingertips will really help you to build your strong concept stronger by giving you a proper practice set of questions or standard questions you may say next is the direct questions so direct questions are uh, asked from ncrt now direct question is also another very very important point for studying the ncrt why you know because the in neat or treating that is the nta follows only the ncrt book for designing your exam that is direct questions will be faced from your ncrt textbook or your ncrt exemplar books that is your mtg book or your object book or your NCRT examples that is given in your book only they will follow the similar pattern also the numerical based question plus also I want to add the diagrams now the diagrams are fully and confinedly based on your NCRT books only if you follow or learn the diagrams or memorize the diagrams or the labelings from your NCRT book then it will really help you to build your concept whereas it will also help you to answer the question which is asked from the NCRT based syllabus only because question framing from NCRT syllabus is only done by the NEET authority. Is it clear? Let's move ahead. Another question which often comes to our mind or the students mind that is is reading often students ask that ma'am is reading NCRT for NEET biology enough? So I must say that Yes, obviously, because toppers will also say you the same answer. It is never a no and always a yes, right? Now, if you find this video interesting, you can subscribe to Anamika's Edu Space and you will be able to find more interesting videos related to this educational topics. Now, the question which arises to us that is, is NCRT biology books enough to crack the NEET UG exam? Yes, obviously. Why? Because I will show you some points or some facts and figures by which you will be able to figure out whether it is the yes for the question, whether it is positive or it is a negative, right? Okay. So for biology, the weightage covers 50% marks from the NEET exam and out of 180 questions, 90 questions comes in biology, right? We all know. 45 in your zoology and 45 questions in your botany right next you should have the awareness now ncrt books give you full awareness of your examination when there will be reduced syllabus then teachers or the educators or the mentors will point out the topics which are present in the ncrt and you have to read less not more than that you have to read less but 
clear your concept fully. You have to build a strong concept on the less required topics for your competitive exam in for from your class 11 12 book of NCRT. Right, that is included in your syllabus. Okay, next highlight is while reading your NCRT, make sure to highlight all the points when you highlight a single line. You can read and memorize and recognize that yes, it is a VVI important line. Or else, if you don't use the highlighter on your NCRT book, you might find it a maze when you study again. Right, okay. Next is your practice. Now, practice always makes a man perfect. We all know, right? Now, NCRT book also presents some objective question. And there is no upper limit to practice those questions. Obviously, there is only lower limit and the lower limit, which I would suggest you that 100 questions per day. So one day you will read a topic, you will complete a topic and you will solve the questions based on that particular topic. If you want to find the important uh, standard questions based on that similar topic, then you have to watch this video till the end and I'll tell you a super, super strategy where you will be able to find out the standard questions to practice is for your neat examination so let's continue okay next is your very important part is your timer now always solve the question like you are present in the exam environment okay you should have a fixed time limit you should decrease your silly mistake you should make a habit of practicing all the questions or solving the question keeping a timer or a fixed time limit right okay next is the, the revision time now revision is very important for your neat UC examination that is once we revise we remember it more 10 times so four to five times revise then it will be able to effective for you to remember it 50 times that is revision once revision is that time 50 times of your reading right into 50 x right so you will have to revise your NCRT book before your neat examination to remain confident and don't confuse yourself right revision is very very important which will will not only secure your rank but also fetch you more and more marks and build your concept more and more stronger day by day next is your mock test now mocks are very very important practicing questions is based on you that which questions you were selecting to practice but giving a mock test is the questions are which are unknown to you now if you want to prepare for the mock test please do take the paper of the neat or the aims previous year paper the previous year paper um, are really game changer because many questions of your neat examination are also repeated from your previous year question papers so you must not miss the previous year question paper single question from the previous year question paper and you must practice the PYQs that is a previous year question paper thoroughly from each and every respective chapter after you have your revision completed next is your application once we have done each and everything it is not important to memorize each and everything but it is really important to understand each and everything wholeheartedly once you understand each and everything you will be able to remember it once you memorize everything you can forget at a time but if you understand it you will never forget and it will help you to remember a single concept for a long time now it is very important to remember and understand each and every diagram from ncrt so application means when you will read the diagram when we will memorize the diagram side by side you will also take a pen and a notebook and draw the diagram in your copy and you will also practice the diagram based questions which are frequently asked in your neat examination i hope it is clear that why ncrt books are effective to crack your neat ug exam now let's move ahead to the studying strategy now this you can see is totally prepared by me that is it is copyrighted to me that is ma'am's quick approach to read smartly so we are the science students and we always believe on the facts and the figures right we will not memorize 
in a one go but we will have a understanding and a application so don't just read it don't just memorize it but also understand try to understand the topic and try to apply the topic right so we will have first is your topic dissection so as we are biology student and we are frequent with the dissection though you have to do after you become a doctor so why not you practice dissection from now now you have will have to practice dissection or you have to practice dissection which is based on your need books that is if there is a topic what is a cell then you have to divide that topic into major parts and you have to read the whole topic and understand it selectively right next approach to our reading or a second approach you can see will be rapid and repetitive reading line by line so it is very important that you read your ncrt line by line and corner by corner no corner no blue box no summary or no exemplar questions in your ncrt book should be left each and every thing should be completed from tip to toe so rapid and repetitive reading means tip to toe you must complete reading understanding while applicating your ncrt theories and concept okay next third point or the third approach of mine is selective notes now many kids are there who have a self study nature now those who are self studying i must say that they are the a category students right now the a category students always make the selective nose that is the toppers always have the selective nose take the help of your ncrt book and note down or jot down the important points important date lines dates scientist name and also the important inventions okay so you can note down the selective notes or make the selective notes like this in the now our fourth fourth approach is revision so revision is very very important that is once you study the topic you make the note you apply the topic you do the numericals each and everything you do but if you don't revise so revision each and every after a week after a month and after a day so once you study uh, each and everything after a day so revise it at the end of the day that today in 24 hours i studied this 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 after a month in a month we studied this and after a week once you complete a single week please do check it out that what do you studied in this week whether you can recall it whether you can rememberize it whether you can remember it or not so that will really help you to in doing the revision okay now while you will be doing the revision then you will also get some concept which are not clear to you right now when you will get some concept which are not clear to you or not present in your specific book or not present in your ncrt clearly then you will get some errors right now once you check the errors then only you will get your doubts cleared now clearing your doubts is really really very important for further clearing or further building your stronger concept hope it is clear to you and now you will be able to read smartly